Although the dig suggests that something ridiculously dramatic is going to happen every 10 minutes or so, it is actually a really enjoyable film. This was released this year and directed by Simon Stone with screenplay by Myra Ruffini, based on the novel by John Preston. I haven't read the novel, I can't compare it. This is based on a real event. I don't know how accurate it is, but just in terms of the film itself, I found it entertaining enough, but I felt like in certain points it was trying far too hard to be overly thrilling. And I will discuss that in a little bit, but I won't give any spoilers. So if you haven't seen it, it's currently on Netflix. Despite the things that I think are wrong with it, I do think it is still really great and absolutely, definitely worth a watch. It stars Rafe Fiennes and Kerry Mulligan as Basil Brown and Edith Pretty, respectively. And... This is, I'll read the description from IMDb because it's one sentence and I think it sums it up pretty well. So this says, an, archaeologi- archaeologi- an archaeologist embarks on the historically important excavation of Sutton Hoo in 1938. I'd never heard of that. I knew nothing about it. I've read next to nothing around it. I wanted this film to be my education. I feel slightly more educated. I feel like, at the very least, I'm aware of this and I can see some of the importance of this dig, but I'm not enthused to go and look more into it. I've watched this film, that's me done with learning about this. I didn't think it was that interesting as a concept. The things I liked about this film really was the visual quality, the quality of the acting, and also the costumes. I loved the costumes, and the music was very nice. But the narrative is not that great. The concept is very interesting, and certainly the first... Maybe the first 40 minutes are really brilliant, absolutely fantastic. That's when we get to meet Mr. Brown. And first of all, I have to say, absolutely fantastic character, really loved him. Whether or not he's like the real Basil Brown, I can't say. But as a character in this film, I found him very engaging and very fascinating. And Rafe Fiennes is really engaging as an actor, of course. And... He's brilliant and he starts the dig and he finds something. I won't say what it is just in case you don't want to know anything about it. But he finds something that's relatively interesting and is quite exciting. And then we you know, we really want to know what else is there. And yeah, there, there is that great sense of anticipation. And then something dramatic happens with him. And I genuinely thought this is going to be a very short film. But actually, it you know, that was nice. Well, nice is not the nice word, but I think the level of drama there was really effective. I think it got the heart racing. It made something that was quite mellow into something quite quite dramatic and intense. But unfortunately, that level of drama peaks every kind of 10, 15 minutes, every now and then, quite frequently, in fact. We just feel like something tragic is going to happen or a character is going to fall ill or somebody is going to say something they shouldn't or somebody's going to lose something and this is constant this is every 10-15 minutes and this is not this kind of film that works well in a thriller to to some extent even then it shouldn't be done that much but in this film they're trying far too hard to make this period film dramatic and that's not right obviously it's based on real life events so I can't say that those things didn't happen but the pacing is completely off And the scary thing is that the film's nearly two hours long, so if they even stretch that out, I feel like it would just be far too long and still overly dramatic. I just think it hasn't got that balance right at all. In terms of the narrative being accurate, I can't say if it is or not, but in terms of the story, if this were just um, a work of fiction, I'd say there are quite a few things wrong with the narrative development, with the progression of it, the introduction of characters. I feel like there's a lot of this they could have stripped back and they could have made it a little bit more simple, a little bit more enjoyable. They've tried far too hard to make it overly intense and I just, for that reason, I think the narrative really lets itself down. But as I said, on the flip side, basically every other aspect of it is glorious. Um, I thought Kerry Mulligan gave a fantastic performance and Archie Barnes as Robert was just fabulous and so energetic and so so brilliant to watch the costumes were absolutely stunning really truly beautiful I have absolutely no issues with those at all um the costumes were by Alice Babbage 
and the music was really stunning. The scenery was gorgeous, the locations, the architecture. I, I think they did an awful lot right. The only thing I think they got wrong was the narrative. Obviously, based on fact, they have some limitations, but the pacing was wrong, the tone was often wrong. It tried far too hard to be something that it isn't. However, I do recommend it. I really do recommend it. Definitely worth watching. Just be prepared to constantly be on the edge of your seat for absolutely no reason. Other than that, the dig is pretty decent.